Good evening guys, it's Emma. Welcome back, I hope you're doing really well. Tonight, I'm just gonna take you along on hopefully what is going to be a very cozy, calm, and just relaxing night in my life, basically showing you guys what I do on a typical night and stuff like that, and just taking you through all the relaxing things that I've been kind of incorporating into my life recently. So the first thing I like to do when it kind of starts to get evening time, especially in the summer, is go for a walk because usually that means that the weather has cooled down a lot. So I met Hilda on the walk once again. This is a little squirrel I've been making friends with, but I was fresh out of peanuts, so we just awkwardly stared at each other. Um, but that was fine. It was a really, really nice night, and I got to see some deer as well in the field. So when it starts to get a little bit dark out, the first thing I like to do when I get home is to turn on all of the fairy lights, the twinkly lights, and just the cozy evening lighting just to make the apartment a little bit more homey and cozy. And then around this time, I like to start making dinner, usually between like six, seven, sometimes eight. So this night I decided to make a, uh, like a vegan tofu cheese kind of scramble and it was really good. Hi guys, so welcome to the nighttime. I think it's actually only like 8.30 almost, but welcome to this little night routine. I just wanted to take you along with me on a pretty average, relaxing night. It is the night of July 2nd, so yeah, I'm just having a little like snack, dinner kind of thing. It is just absolutely like amazing, oh my gosh. It's just an English muffin with like tofu, egg, and then some vegan cheese, and it is just so good. So I'm just having this on the balcony right now, and then we will have a really cozy night together. So I hope you enjoy. I hope maybe you're snug in bed or just cozy wherever you are. So yes.
After dinner, there's definitely a few things that I like to do to just wind down and kind of start the evening and get relaxed and just take like a kind of slow break in my day. Um, the first thing I like to do is water all my plants. I have a lot of tomatoes and peppers and now I have Swiss chard actually on my balcony as well. So because it's been so hot, I like to water them at night and it's just really relaxing as well. I've really been loving like taking care of plants and then I'll check my indoor plants as well. I have my umbrella plants, my money tree, and then I recently found a few new succulents that I've added to my plant children as well. So just watered those guys. And then at this point, if I have any chores to do or like cleaning up dishes after dinner or just getting the apartment ready for kind of the next day and just decluttering, I like to listen to the audiobook I have on the go. So right now I'm currently listening to The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt and I'm not loving it, but I'm hoping it gets better because I'm not that far through as of right now. If I have some free time and if I'm feeling okay, I've been playing Spirit Fair, which is this really, really cozy video game that I've been loving so much. And it's so nice to just spend a little bit of time if my eyes are feeling okay and if my head's feeling okay with the post-concussion stuff um, to just play it because it's so cute. Look at, look at my, look at my carrots. Look at me go. All right, so I have relaxed a little bit. I listened to my audiobook. I played a little bit of a very fun video game that I've been getting into. It's just really cozy and fun and I love it. It's like you live on a boat and you help like spirits um, achieve like their last goal and you harbor them on your ship and stuff and you can garden and cook and catch jellyfish. Can, like catch lightning in a bottle and it's just like a really fun calming little video game but anyway it is time for skincare so bangs have to go recently i have adopted a completely new skincare routine and i'm gonna be doing um a little thing with my hair i don't think i'm gonna wash my hair tonight i th think i washed it last night so it's still very soft and nice and no need to do anything but the first thing i'm gonna do is just take off any makeup um that's still on my face and i've been using this green tea and enzyme powder wash this one is from the brand wish trend and they actually very kindly reached out to me and sent me a little skincare um package like a little skincare care package with a whole bunch of the products which are what i've been incorporating into my skincare routine and i've honestly been loving them this video is not sponsored by anyone anywhere anyway i just really really been loving them and they very kindly provided me with some links for you guys and a discount code if you are interested but anyway let's go through the skincare routine it's just been a very nice calming portion of my evening as well because i'm someone who just used to like rush through it but now it's just like a part of my evening that i've incorporated and like made fun i actually have like a whole playlist i like to put on when it's late at night and i want to just spend time in here or also what i really like doing is either listening to that playlist or listening to a non-fiction book because i just feel like it's time to like kind of slow down and like do a little bit of breathing um, and like pay attention to my breath as well while I like fix up my face and do my skincare routine it's just been like really really calming and like such a nice segue into like bed or into the later part of my evening so anyway we're gonna start off with this cute little green bottle thing I use is this rice toner, which is also from Yolchu, Korea. It's from the brand I'm from. Um, and then you also just put some on. I just use my hands. I'm already so sleepy, but I really want to read. And then I also use this Claire's, Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin C Drop. Um, which has been so nice. I've only been using about like one to two drops and I like to put it under my eyes because it's supposed to help smooth out and reduce any swelling or tiredness and then I also like to put it like around my neck. Mm -hmm. 
After my skincare is done, um, I've been using this hair serum. This one is from Function of Beauty and it's basically just personalized to me and my hair goals. So you can put on like wet or dry hair and this night was obviously dry hair. It smells, it's like it, it's become associated with sleep for me. Oh my gosh, I've just been associating the smell of the serum as well with bedtime. I really, I really have been wanting to cut it, but I don't know, like probably as short as it used to be, like maybe chin length but I just feel like I've worked so hard to grow it a little bit back out again and I think I would be a little bit devastated with myself um, if I like cut it again but it's just been so hot we've been having a huge heat wave the past couple of weeks and it's it's the hair my really thick hair is not helping my case so I don't know you might see me soon with some short hair and then, like I said, if I have time at night, I do like to read just a little bit. So in this clip, I was actually just starting on a Karenina. Um, this is for the Dickens vs. Tolstoy book club. If you are interested, we are reading this with a whole bunch of people. Uh, so I was just starting it here, getting into it, and I really do love reading late at night and putting on either some like ASMR rooms or just some nice music, or sometimes I will create like a playlist for the book that I'm reading, but it's just like a really nice, cozy kind of screen, screen this way I guess to settle down for the night and I do find if I do read late at night it's sometimes like a nice way to get sleepy as well while also like enjoying what you're reading at the same time And finally, this last thing that I like to do is definitely not like a daily thing because it's doing my nails. Recently, I've gotten really into gel nails and doing them myself. This is something that honestly takes me a lot of time, especially if I'm doing like a big design or if I'm doing something quite ambitious, but I also find it extremely calming and it is like quite a slow process as well that just lets me sit at night. And obviously when your nails are drying and you have paint all over them, you can't like get up, you can't do anything. And so it's like a distraction but it also makes you sit still and just like look around sometimes i'll listen to an audiobook sometimes i'll call a friend while i'm doing my nails and it's just been like really nice to have a cup of tea tonight it was peppermint and just to like sit there and create cool things on your hands and then it looks really nice so i just chose kind of this like well in the light now that i'm looking at it editing this it's more like it has a pink undertone but um, I decided to put these little rhinestones on my fingers as well. So this was the finished product and I think they're so cute and it's just been so like oddly therapeutic and so nice. So after that, no matter what time it is, I don't really have like a set bedtime or anything like that. I will just hop into bed and hopefully get a good sleep. <laughs> so I'm wishing you guys the same. Thank you so much for watching and good night.